Hi, welcome to the video and welcome to Spice Up Your Blog. This is Paul Crow here and in this video we're looking at share this and the counter buttons, the counter bookmarking buttons available from share this and they have come up with a, a new kind of format um, called the oat button and there's a couple of options available and they're really really cool and really useful. Um, at the moment I'm using these buttons, I'm using a compact version of these buttons which you can see on one of the posts here, the Twitter share bookmark and then the share this button and the big difference with these is when somebody comes in and clicks let's say we click on the Twitter button to so share on Twitter um, instead of just getting uh, your post logged or shared on Twitter it actually shares on a couple of networks that the user may be logged into so for example here I'm currently logged into Facebook Twitter and Yahoo so if I click share now I'm actually sharing this post on all three networks even though I only clicked on Twitter um, and so this makes it really useful for us bloggers that when people click share to be clicked sharing it on a number of social networks and there's tons of buttons available and even with the share this button if you click more you see pretty much every social network and social bookmarking site is available there to share the content on so what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can add these buttons in a couple of different positions. You can see I have them vertically here across the, or horizontally here across the top of the post. But you can have them down along the side here wrapped in text and across the bottom or pretty much anywhere on your blog that you want. But we'll cover them in a couple of positions. Um, so the first thing you're going to have to do is actually go and generate the buttons for your blog. Um, and to do that you'll go to the Share This website which is at sharethis.com. Um, in the post connected to this video on Spice of Your Blog I'll have a link to this site. But this is the sharethis.com site and at the very top we can see get the button but actually before we do this as far as I know I'm not absolutely certain but as far as I know you actually have to log in here and have an account to get started um, and that just provides you analytics if you want to see how much people are sharing your stuff um, and you can see I'm logged in here through Twitter so that just makes it easy you can sign in with your Twitter or Facebook account so it only takes a couple of seconds and once you're logged in and set up you just click get the button um, and you get a number of options as to the style of the button and how, how it's going to look um, but the first thing we see is here is website or blog and this tutorial is for bloggers so you think that the thing you do is click blogger but you actually don't um, because for some reason I've tried this blog the code that's generated for blogger and it actually doesn't work right it doesn't save in your template so leave it on website as it is and you can then pick your button style below and there's kind of default buttons here and here you can see the buttons I'm using which are the compact buttons and here you have the kind of stacked buttons um, all with the counters counting how many times each post has been shared on each network um, so we're going to go with these compact buttons and this is the really really cool part that sure this have done that have made this really really simple is when you click on here to pick these buttons this will open up and you can pretty much pick as many um, buttons as you want to add to it and to do this you can see they've added Twitter and Facebook here by default and you can see the two of them up here but what we can do is just grab the ones we want from this menu on the right hand side so if I come down along and we say I want to put delicious in I click on delicious here and just click this arrow to send it over and over it goes and you can see it up here also if I want dig I just click on dig and send it over so you can pick through as many of the different um, social networks as you want for your buttons I will always uh, recommend adding the share this button the default button so we pop that over as well and up here you can see the way they're lined up so if you want to change this all you have to do is we've clicked on the share this button you can just use the down arrow to move it down you can see it moving up here so it's down to the end we can move down the dig button and it just depends on what kind of um, format you want the buttons in so at the moment I have a Twitter Facebook dig delicious and share this buttons um, we can throw over the reddit button as well just have an extra one so we'll send that reddit button down like so and so there are the five um, or the six buttons that we're, we're going to use um, just in this tutorial so once we have that done we're happy with the buttons we've chosen we come down the end and this is the oat widget which as I said um, you can share multiple networks with just one click so we're going to go with the oat widget and just click get the button once we do that we're going to generate some code we'll generate two snippets of code which is here and here and um, the first snippet of code is the actual button code this is the actual code for the buttons and you place this where you want the buttons to appear and the second is a script that allows the buttons to work 
and this has to be placed in your template. Um, but no matter how many times you use the button, this script only has to be placed in once. So once you place this in once, you can use the buttons wherever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is add that script and get that out of the way. Now, in the post that will be with this, which will be on Spice Up Your Blog, um, I have some of the steps here. I'll have this video obviously and some of the steps. And we have here, add to share this script, and we have the steps to do that, which tells you, you go to your blogger dashboard, click design, edit HTML, find this code, which is close and head tag, and you paste the script directly above the close and head tag. So we have our test blog set up here. So we're going to do that on this test blog. We're going to go to design, which I'm going to click in the nav bar there. Then I'm going to click edit HTML. Let's bring over our video. Um, we're going to find close and head tag. So if I click Control F to get our search bar up, and um, we put in forward slash head. And we can see it jumped directly down to forward slash head. Um, so we have our close and head tag found. So we basically grab the script here, copy it back to our test blog, and paste it, paste it right above the close and head tag, like so. Once you do that, you can just save your template. And then we will see where we're going to add the buttons because we have the script added. So back on the post, um, I have here add the counter buttons. And the first two ways is really, really quick and simple. And that's adding it uh, horizontally above your posts and horizontally below your posts. And I have the codes here that you need. So we need this code for above the posts and this code for below the posts. Um, actually, one thing I should have done was tick the expand widget templates box, which I'll do now. So let's place it above the post first. So we're going to find this snippet of code within the blog. So control F again for our search bar, control V, and we're going to jump directly to that snippet of code. If you can't find that code, a quick way to do it is just, just type in line dash one, and it'll jump to it as well. So we found that piece of code, div class equals post header line one. And in the post here, we say, find this code and paste the button code directly below it. Save, and that's it. So we're getting the button code, which is this one. And we're putting it directly below the post header line one tag that we found. So let's make a little bit of space and paste in our, our button code. So that's above the posts. For below the posts, we find this div class equals post footer. So let's find that. There it is. And we say find this code and paste the button code directly below it. So let's grab our button code once again. As I say, all the steps, I mean, I'm going fast here, but all the steps will be on Spice Up Blog as well. So we're going directly below this div class equals post footer. So we're pasting our code there. And if I quickly save my template and view the blog. You should see the buttons appearing above and below the posts as it loads. And there we go, there's the buttons below the post title. You see as this the test blog is quite narrow and it doesn't really look right, but it'll look better in your blog. And there they are below the posts. So the other place we wanted to add them was over here. Actually look at this guy down here. I'm, I'll be doing this in an upcoming post. Let's just have a quick look at it. It's a really cool sharing gadget. Um, I'm still working on it, but I may as well show it to you now. Just using jQuery, you can get all your little buttons to pop out and then fade back in. Okay, let's get back on subject. Um, yeah, we're going to put the buttons down here wrapped in text. Okay, so there's a couple of extra things we have to do for this. We have to add some extra tags, so it's a little bit harder. But I, once again, I have the steps here on Spice Up Your Blog. So we're saying wrapped in text at the top left or right of your posts. So what we're doing is, um, first of all, we have to add a line break between each button basically so that they'll go vertically instead of horizontally. And I'll show you that here by saying, after every time you see forward slash span, you add br forward slash closing, which is your line break. So let's grab the button code again. And this is a little bit more tricky. Um, and we want to find, as I'll say, I have it in the post, so I'll just do it quickly here. Or basically find your data post body. And we're placing the button code above this tag here. Let's make lots of space so we can see what we're doing. And we're pasting our button code above that. So back here, as I said, after every time, and there's the tag I just found. After that, every time you see forward slash span, you add the br forward slash line break. So let's go back here. And here's our code. And here we can see forward slash span, which is a close and span tag. And 
directly after that I just put b or forward slash and close it. So we have it here again, b or forward slash and close it. And it's as simple as that, after every time you see it, you're just putting a line break so that it will go, it will jump to the next button and it'll be vertical. So there's two more, and this one here. Okay, so now we have them vertically, what we have to do is get them to wrap over on the left hand side. And what we do for that is we look down here and we say you had this tag above, this tag below, and your button code in the middle. So we add this tag above, which goes here, and we add this tag below, let's copy that, which goes down here. And all our buttons are in the middle, and we have our line break in. Here we can see float left and the margin on the right, which leaves some space to the text. If you want these on the right hand side, you go flight, float right and margin left, which I talk about in the post also. So let's save the template. And we'll come back and refresh. And we should see it popping out. And there we go. So there they are on the left hand side with the text around them. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's basically your three positions. You could also go to your design page. If you wanted to just pop them in the sidebar somewhere, you could go to your design page, um, click add a gadget, choose HTML JavaScript, which is here, and paste the button code in here and save and you would have them in your sidebar. But that's the three main positions that you might want. As I say, you can get all the buttons, generate them yourself. If you're watching this on YouTube or elsewhere, um, there'll be a link in the description to come back to Spice Up Your Blog to the post which has them tags and more information. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching the video.